Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So Global got the part two kind of like campaign details. Um, there's not really too much here. Because uh, like this is really kind of just like a tiny in-between. Th this is something like this celebration right here is something that is not going to exist on Global. I, I, hopefully even next year. Right, because the whole purpose of this right here is really just a landing spot for the Tanabata banner. But I, I mean, I don't know if it'll be in 2024, but hopefully very soon the Global and JP like we're actually going to get on the same timeline. So Global will be getting that Tanabata banner in July um, anyway with JP. Right, so that's kind of like what this whole kind of like mini celebration is, and the Tanabata banner coming out. Uh, it, well, actually, does it come out? It comes out in 16 minutes, right? <laughs> like, it's gonna come out while I'm making this video of it. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, that banner comes out, and that's why Global is not getting a Dokkan Fest until next week, right? Whereas JP, um, I mean, I, JP, it seems maybe a little late this year, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but, cause like, I've remembered, um, like, you know, Gresh just told the story that the, the Gogeta Blue, like, like data download happened while he was at Christmas dinner, right? So, um, and we're we're still a couple of days off. I assume Dragon Fist is gonna like his Dokkan Fest teaser, like the event teaser, is gonna be in two hours here. But I mean, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, so all right, let's go and get to these global details. Uh, see what we've got here. Um, so there's a wallpaper. Wait a minute. This is all. This is all stuff from previous. Okay. Oh well, yeah. I was like, wait a minute. Wait. A minute. Yeah. That's that's the kid Goku. But we've already got that. Um. So there's the some of the frosty miracle tickets. I mean, that's good. So there's free to play players out there who are gonna get some of these elite characters just literally for free for logging in. That's really good. Okay. Um. And then a lot of those various events include an easy area and a world tournament. <laughs> Dude, is this this has to be one of the funniest lines they've ever dropped? Various events include a banner, which you can please spend your money on, a new easy area stage, and a world tournament. Everyone's fa those are everyone's favorites. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, no cut. All right, so we got missions. Uh, here we go. Here is the Frosty Miracle Dokkan Festival. It's this banner right here. Um, the best thing about this banner is the 8th anniversary LRs will be available with red coins. Um, if you guys are not familiar how this banner works, Super Saiyan 4 Goku will not be available with red coins. Because, again, this is intended to be the Tanabata banner. Um, which, on JP, the Tanabata banner comes out a week after LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, right? So... I don't necessarily recommend for global players to summon on this, but global players at the same time, there's not like, oh, you know, there's this crazy banner coming up or there's this really hype thing coming up. Like global just has a bunch of like very underwhelming characters that are not hype coming up. Um, Super Trunks, LR Omega, 17 and 18, Ribrian, Gohan and Piccolo. I, it's like, of all those characters, I mean, only... I, I do feel like maybe as time is going on, I'm liking Gohan and Piccolo more, right? Like, I don't... like So, we, we'd say those five again. Super Trunks, Omega, 17, 18, Ribrian, Gohan and Piccolo. Gohan and Piccolo feel much better than the other four. Like, it's not even close, right? Um, that's a character that you could actually run and can actually contribute to winning. Whereas most times, those other characters just are just fodder in, like, the really tough stages. So... Global players, you guys don't have um, anything crazy coming up. I mean, you can summon on this if you want. Because, again, I, I think the next time a banner is going to show up where a lot of global players are like, damn, should we summon? Is is going to be probably Saiyan Day, March 18th. Um, you know, this is some great Saiyan. I mean, we just got a Goku last year. Vegeta was two years. Maybe a Broly or a Bardock or something could be Saiyan Day this year. I don't know. Maybe, uh, I mean, I, I feel like I, I would want to. Uh, LR Broly from the first Broly movie, so I wouldn't even want a Broly. Um, I, I'm not sure. Maybe it'll it's just some Vegeta or some Goku. You know what they could do? They could just, well, I was going to say they could redo, 
uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku that they did in 2017, right, which is the one that fights Janemba. They could do that right here, but, I mean, that would be basically back-to-back -back Super Saiyan 3 Gokus. Well, that's just right up Dokkan's out. Yeah, that actually probably, that probably is what they're going to do. That's what Do Dokkan loves to do, that shit, right? Back-to-back -back Super Saiyan 3 Gokus for TURs, basically? Of course they would do that. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, there's my pick. Super Saiyan 3 Goku from the Janemba movie. Uh, the, the the twin dragon fist where he flies down and crushes Janemba, right? That's my guess. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, in summary, uh, I do not think it's a good idea to summon on this banner for global players. I think you guys just, just use this lull for global Dokkan to save up stones. So that way... Okay, like the you know the the Stone Age is over. We're getting back to good stuff, and you'll have you know a thousand, one thousand five hundred, two thousand stones ready to go um, on some of the more hype stuff that might drop. Right, that that's that's my my strong recommendation. Um, you know, it's just because it's like you dump stones into a banner like this that's got eighteen featured units. And it's just like, you're going to be getting AGL Super 17 and Physical Omega and, you know, Int UI Goku. Like, these characters who don't really amount to very much. Um, these guys are definitely, I would argue, still worth red coins, by the way. Uh, the Anniversary LRs with red coins, 100%. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, there's packs you could buy, sure. Stone sales, sure. Uh, there's the easy area stage here for this GT Vegeta. Um, I think that this GT Vegeta is actually a very capable free-to-play character, by the way. Um, I do think he's pretty good. Uh, like, y you could definitely get some real value, some real uh, nice effect um, out of using this guy right here. Um, so I would encourage uh, players to get this guy done. Right, you know, he, he's a character you could potentially run. Because um, it's like, he guards when HP is 50% or more. But if you fall below 50% HP, um, that's where, you know, the uh, GT Vegeta's Great Ape Transformation comes in. And we've talked about it a lot. We know how good these Great Ape Transformations are. They really are. It's not an error. It's not a bug. It's a feature. Uh, you bring out a Great Ape and no AoE from the boss, no super attack, no heal, no nonsense. You remove their special abilities, which is good. Uh, Super Battle Road stage, sure. Dokkan events. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, finally! You guys are not avoiding the pain that I've had to suffer through. I mean, global players are sitting there like fat cats, man. <laughs> I, I mean, here's the thing. Uh, JP, they've just been spamming world tournaments on JP while Global has not had one in uh, 10 years or something. Global, by my estimation, is now four world tournaments. Four! They're four world tournaments behind now. Look, look at this. So so we have this world tournament right here. Um, that's the one where, where Future Gohan got his awakening. Then we have another world tournament right here where, you know, we got the Bardock, the Turles, Kami, uh, Tien and Chao Tzu, and then we have Super Buu. Then we had another world tournament right um, here where we had the, the Great Ape Kid Goku. We had Cooler. We had Super Trunks. And then we had Ultimate Gohan and then LRP Love. And then we had just another world tournament with Bojack and then these characters. The, this batch of characters is very good, by the way. I it, I, I, I like them all. Um, like, like, like this Gohan, the Goku, this Goku, like they're very good. Bojack is very good. So, I, I mean, here's the thing. Global's four world tournaments behind. I, I would imagine they're going to make these world tournaments up. We're probably going to get to a period where they're going to start moving a little bit faster with these world tournaments, man, because they all of a sudden kind of like fell behind. Like, like JP is f four world tournaments ahead. That is something where I think they're going to make that up. So, you know, over the next year, uh, Global is going to end up having four more world tournaments than JV, I would assume. So these might start to get spammed, um, which is good in that there's rewards, right? My recommendation for players, of course, is just do the missions, you know, get the, the, the 30 wins, get those points, just get those missions done. That's all you have to do. Um, again, you, you get these characters and stuff just by doing the missions. I, like, it, it's actually really good. Um, so, so that's, that's what I think, um, players should do, right? Uh, you'll be able to just, you know, get your missions, you'll get some stones, you'll get some rewards. Um, don't go super crazy with world tournament and then buckle up because, um, you know, we're moving 
towards the global sink, not away from it. Every day gets us closer, so they're they're probably going to start shooting these out a little bit quicker um, moving forward. Uh, then we have just a bunch of, you know, just the world tournament stuff, support pack. You know, these are all just events that are up with world tournament typically. Uh, and then that is it. Yeah, not a ton here. Because uh, this celebration, with air quotations, uh, is only a week-long thing. It's it's essentially just for the Tanabata banner. Um, this this is something that soonish would be dead forever on on global, um, and and it's like you know global would be just having the same type of stuff that JP is going to get at this time of the year, which is the dual Dokkan fest. So, uh, let me know what you guys think about this like kind of like mini celebration. Um, again, super trunks should be coming next week. I suppose there's an outside chance it could be. Uh, 17 and 18. I guess it could be Gohan and Piccolo. Uh, no, probably not 17 and 18 because they have the part two Ribrian. I guess they could do Super Trunks at the start of March or Gohan and Piccolo at the start. Like, they could swap those two, I suppose. I, I, I would think that 17 and 18 will stick in February since they're part two LR. Ribrian is still sitting there as well. And then Trunks and Gohan and Piccolo do not have part twos. So, you know, they one of them will come in January with Omega at the end of January, and then one of them will come at the start of March. Typically, every year, the worst celebration of the year on JP is that, like, you know, like Halloween, like, start of November celebration. That was the Gohan and Piccolo. That, every year, is typically the first um, part of March for Global, but we'll see. So, let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch y'all next time.